What's up, everyone? Hello, hello, welcome. Join up, log in, load in. How is everyone doing today? Pretty uh, excited to be here. Um, I've been doing this for a few months now, and this is my 10th stream and last of the year. So uh, if you've been around for most of them, some of them, one of them, all of them, uh, thank you for watching. And I will definitely continue to do this uh, in the new year. Thursday afternoons are my favorite time of the, of the week, for sure. So yeah, it's been really fun. Uh, it's been fun chatting with y'all, um, having everyone follow along. I like to see the comments, see where you're watching from, see uh, the, the different food that you've tried or made. Uh, so yeah, it's been great. <laughs> um, today I'm going to actually make a recipe that I've made before, which is the first time uh, on stream that I'm doing a, a, an older recipe. And it's a French toast with uh, tortillas instead of regular bread. <laughs> uh, I love this recipe for this time of year. Um, I always associate the holidays with breakfast foods. Uh, I feel like you have people over. I mean, obviously this year is different, but um, you have people over, whether it's like New Year's morning and you had a big party and people stayed over or um, Christmas week, you're with your family. Um, so I like coming up with fun recipe ideas that will like feed a group of people and you don't have to just, uh, you know, cook a bunch of eggs for everyone or a bunch of bacon. So yeah, um, again, if you got here before I said this or after I said this, this is my 10th stream um, and last one of the year. So, so uh, it's exciting and it's fun. And it's one of my favorite things that I started doing this year. So I have the tortillas here and I have the container that I'm going to cook them in and they, they're like close to fitting, but not quite. So I'm going to actually cut them a little bit and I think we're going to do six maybe. That'll be good to start with, we'll see. So, let's see. I'm gonna grab that smallest one because that was like just almost there and put it on top and use it uh, as a guide, I guess. And the original version of this recipe, you can find it on my website as tortilla French toast. I think I called it a cake for some reason. Uh, <laughs> And it's actually is vegetarian, but the one I'm making today, I am going to add some meat to it. Just to keep switch it up a little bit, at least for the stream, right? Yes, I am adding the Oatly to it. That's why it's here. <laughs> Um, who has regular milk these days? I mean, come on. <laughs> yes, Rich, we will soon. Me and Gina were actually just talking about how fun it would be to come to Portland. I'm going to crack some eggs into here and that's gonna be the, uh, the soaking liquid, I guess, for the tortillas. Oatly tastes better than regular milk. <laughs> Just simple facts. I 
forgot to get my trash bowl out here. So I had to run across with the eggs. So uh, yeah, I'm adding a touch of the Oatly to this. But yes, yeah, so you can use whatever milk or milk-ish product you have. <laughs> milk adjacent. And I have some vanilla. Some cinnamon. Has anyone seen this brand of spices? We, we've been really loving it. They have cool mix backs too, so if you still need that last minute gift, it might be just the thing. Uh, no, this is the, not the full fat, but we did just get a full fat for, uh, for next week. Rich, I, I was wondering if you were going to say you hate French toast or not. <laughs> but it's nice to see that you've grown. So like I was mentioning earlier, um, I am I am really proud and happy about setting up, figuring out streaming and starting to do it every week. Um, and I'm going to talk about some of like, I guess my wins uh, of the year. You know, I know it's been a tough year and for a lot of people just like existing right now um, is, a, is a 2020 win. But if you have anything that you have been really proud of or excited about this year, please uh, let me know in the comments and I will shout you out because since this is like my last one of the year, I kind of wanted to have like a, a hangout with you all. Um, I picked an easier recipe so that I could just like handle it um, while we chat. Great, so I mentioned I'm going to add meat to this, which isn't in the original recipe. And uh, I have a big bowl of pork right here. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I've been testing some rib recipes this week. So these, this is kind of like some random discards of ribs. And uh, this is from Chairman's Reserve, which is an awesome pork company. And you guys will see that video probably in a few weeks. And we don't need much, like, obviously there's a bunch of layers of this, so we're, I'm only gonna put pork on one layer in the center. And I know uh, pulled pork maybe is like a, a strange choice of breakfast meat, uh, but you know, sausage is pork, bacon's pork. I'm not sure. Uh, I think like I've had pulled pork for brunch before, so. I think uh, we're fine. Every meat is a breakfast meat if you follow your dreams. Wise man once said that. And this uh, pork is actually cooked with like bourbon and molasses and some spices. So it's really uh, nice breakfasty flavors, right? I mean, we all have bourbon for breakfast. I'm just gonna break up like a few more pieces here.
That looks good to me. Put the big bowl of pork away. And to sauce this pork, I'm just gonna put maple syrup on it. And this is super fake maple syrup. Um, if you like real maple syrup, I do, but I don't eat it all the time. We're more likely to have fake maple syrup and <laughs> fake maple syrup and then bring out the good stuff like once in a while. I mean, good stuff. I'll put that thing in a burrito. Joe, welcome. <laughs> Dad's here too. Thank you for calling me a wise man, Rich. I'm just gonna put a little bit of butter uh, on the bottom of this. You could use any grease, oil, whatever. I do this to like every butter we have and Gina gets mad at me. <laughs> just just hand, very hands on with the butter. All right, so. <laughs> Matt does it too, or is he the one that gets mad? I was going to say it runs in the family, but. So I just dip the tortilla in here, and then I'm going to put it into this little bowl. And I think we'll be able to do all the layers. So. If you follow the recipe on the website, which is doesn't have meat in it, I think you could fit seven to eight layers in here. Uh, but since we're adding the layer of meat, we're not going to fit as many. Oh, I forgot something, you guys. Just having so much fun chatting. <laughs> Mushed up butter lumps. That's the name of my band. Or is it my memoir? What I forgot was to add the mascarpone, mascarpone cheese. Mascarpone. So I'm just gonna spread out a thin layer of this. Mascar, no, mascarpone. That's why I I have said mascarpone in the past, but it's wrong. So that's why every time I'm about to say it, I kind of check myself. My family, we have a a reputation for pronunciating things very wrong. So sometimes I have to pause for a minute. You could definitely use cream cheese in this. Uh, you could use like ricotta, I guess, if you wanted. Anything. Have fun with it. I feel like even so, like if you wanted to get a little more weird with it, you could use like cheddar or something too. Why not? All right. So third layer's in, and I'm going to... Um, add in the maple syrup pulled pork. Brian, this is like the same as most uh, French toast recipes, but you would just use bread instead of uh, tortillas. And then you would just put it in a frying pan rather than baking it like this, obviously. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm. <laughs> this is what I would have done in the past. Instead, is like put the cheese on first. It'll be a little less messy and easier, maybe. We'll see. Just try as you go, really. Cool. Was that easier? Unclear. Brian, you don't put the cheddar in the omelet, just on top? Just, just wondering. All right, last layer. Um, and I was also thinking of other stuff you could put in here, like a layer of prosciutto would be pretty nice. I mean, salami, I mean, sausage or bacon are the more obvious choice, even ham. Just to finish this off, I'm going to uh, put a little more of the egg mixture right on top. That's probably good. Nice sour omelet, not a technique that I've heard of before. <laughs> Yeah, Gwyneth, uh, this is definitely savory breakfast, which I tend to gravitate towards, but I do think uh, bananas would be great in here for sure, or pecans if you want. Uh, what else do people do with, with French toast a lot? Rich, look, it looks like a lot of egg, but it's already sort of sinking and melting in. Don't you worry. Right? He's always, well, last week he said uh, the, the thing was too runny, and he was right about that one. So that normally would cook like a half hour. I did put one in. Normally I don't do that on the stream. I, I usually just um, make it all live, but I did put one in, so it has like 10 minutes left on that one. And while that cooks, I'm going to make a drink, and... Uh, if you do have wins from this year, let me know. Joe's here. She got her license recently. That's a big win. Not her driving license. <laughs> that was a while ago. Patented breakfast elixir. What's that consist of? Or is that the sour omelet? <laughs> black coffee, black Arabian coffee, old fashioned bourbon, lemon concentrate. I mean, that, that's a wake up elixir if I've ever heard it. For my drink right now, I'm making a Negroni, which 
is the drink I always make, first of all, but also the drink that I made on my first stream, which only a few people were watching, <laughs> um, because I made wings based on Negroni. And it's also the easiest uh, recipe to make. It's just equal parts of gin, Campari, and uh, sweet vermouth. And it's also festive because it's bright red. But mainly I wanted to do this to uh, toast to you all to say thank you for watching. And I'll tell you about my next um, win of the year, which is I finished a cookbook which um, I finished the same cookbook about three or four times, but this time I finished it and it's better than ever. So I'm really excited about that. And I can tell you all more about that one uh, very soon, I think. Yeah, 2, 2.23, same time as you, Joe. But we it's brighter here than in Boston. This, this uh, doesn't get dark till like five. Oh, are you asking me what time it is? Cause I'm drinking. <laughs> it's a holiday season. Congrats Rich on all those. That's great stuff. Like I said earlier, just being here right now is, is enough. It's been a really hard year. Cheers. Another thing is last year I posted 40 recipes. Uh, the year before I did 50. And before that I was doing like closer to 100 every year. So this year I was like, I want to hit 50 again. Average goal of like one per week. And I ended up posting um, about 55, even with all the crazy stuff that happened this year and moving halfway across the country. So I was really happy and proud of that. So cheers again. Brian, it is hard to go to the gym when you're busy, but what I like to do is try to just do like the smallest little workout um, even if it means doing like a few push-ups and sit-ups and stretching because I've always someone told me at one of my jobs once something is better than nothing and sometimes in the past I would in the past I would basically just say like I don't have time for a real workout so I'd rather do nothing and I've noticed that doing that like even five minutes makes such a difference and it turns into 10 minutes turns into 20 minutes Who's asking me that? You, you've you already asked me, Gina. <laughs> I'm on a 19-day a streak. Let's see. So this thing puffs up in the oven a lot because of all the egg. But it will... Um, it will sink way down pretty quickly but you're gonna laugh when you see it because it's kind of crazy look at that <laughs> it's like a souffle Uh, but in like two to five minutes, that's going to be right back down where it started.
See, it's already shrinking a little bit. The top layer is like got a little crisp to it, which is nice too. Just cutting an excessive amount of butter to put on it. Brandon, I will recap what we did. It's basically a French toast made with tortillas. So I put uh, eggs, milk, sugar, cinnamon, and nutmeg in a bowl. And I dipped the tortillas into it. I alternated that with layers of mask mascarpone cheese. <laughs> and in the center, one layer of maple syrup pulled pork. Uh, I'm not sure if the, I don't think this pan does that much more in the oven when you start cold. Uh, if you're starting warm, like put the pan in the oven and then put stuff in, that's where cast iron really shines. The reason I made this in the pan is more just because it looks cool and because it's a perfect uh, shape for the tortillas. Al, welcome. Um, I did just recap it, <laughs> uh, but it's basically like a French toast made of tortillas instead of, uh, instead of regular bread and baked in the oven. And I also have a Negroni. Uh, so you can see it's shrinking now a little bit, almost at the right size. You think that's a good amount of butter? <laughs> I also have my fake maple syrup here. What I think also might be fun about a dish like this is uh, embracing the tortillas and going with more of like a Mexican theme with it. Um, I, when I first made this recipe, I was like, should I call this Mexican toast instead of French toast? But then I didn't think that that would be a smart name for a recipe. Yes, maple syrup, Jerry, maple syrup pulled pork. So I have pulled pork left over from another recipe I did. It was made with uh, molasses and bourbon. And that recipe is for ribs and it's gonna be coming out in a few weeks. But I used that and just like poured maple syrup on it. But uh, you could do maybe like, um, you could do maybe a, you know, bacon, sausage, anything in here. I thought some prosciutto or salami might be nice. Joe. Yes, I talked about the maple syrup earlier, um, how we usually use trash maple syrup here, but we do have the good stuff around sometimes, but we don't have it right now. And being from New England, it's like kind of sad to say that, but you know, it is what it is, right? I need like a pointier knife. Oh, this is fine. I'm comfortable with my maple syrup choices, okay? And as you can see, the thing like shrunk so much compared to where it was. It's almost like down low in the middle.
Thanks for laughing at least. <laughs> I thought you were going to be too much of a troll about it. <laughs> I've been getting a lot of like hate comments lately on one of my posts. I should have a place to put this before I take it out. Thanks, Jerry. I think it looks great too. And like I said, this is an old recipe. Unlike my other streams, you can grab this already. Um, the only thing that's different about this version is the meat in the center. Also, like that maple syrup pulled pork was like a random idea I had an hour ago, and I think that needs to become a thing. With good maple syrup, right, Joe? It's like hard to eat on camera. I'm like using my fingers too much. Hot. It's very good though. Oh, thanks Gina for grabbing the recipe for me. Yes, I'm not sure why I call that cake doesn't really make sense. I guess it's cake-like. Anything round could be a cake, right? If a crab cake is a cake. One thing I've been told many times is to take smaller bites on camera, and I have not learned yet. <laughs> Thank you all though. Thanks for watching. Uh, like I said earlier, my 10th stream of the year and last stream of the year. I've been really enjoying doing this. It's my favorite time of the week. And I will be back starting the first Thursday of January, I'm sure. Is that New Year's Day? The second Thursday of January, if that's the case. <laughs> but I'm excited to keep doing this more and more and come up with new things. If you want to suggest something, maybe I'm happy to take suggestions. Uh, but yeah, I have fun doing this. It's slow. We just hang out, we talk, I cook something and, and that's that. So grab the recipe. If you make this, uh, anytime in the next few weeks, make sure to tag me at TFIMB. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitch, YouTube, all the places and, uh, have a good, holiday 